All right, so once again, this is the test set model TV-2CU, and um, it, I'm going to go ahead and test a, a 12AX7. This is a, a tongue saw. Uh, I think it's a black plate. Uh, well, maybe it's not, but anyway, it's a vintage 12AX7. Um, it's not 100%, but it's in good. It's, it, it's a good testing tube. I've tested it on my uh, TV7 that I have. And so you just have to have everything set correctly. Have the voltage, the filament voltage is set. Uh, uh, the um, bias is set there. Uh, plate is set and so forth. Uh, red line is set. So once you get all that done and go according to the uh, roll chart up here, there's your 12AX7 uh, right there. Talks about the positions and it's quite easy to do. And anything above a 67 is considered good. So you depress P4, and P4 is one of the switches that simply holds itself down. So I'm going to go ahead and switch that down now, and then you'll see the percent meter up here. So anything above a 62 is good. As you can see, this one is um, above 75, so it's, uh, it's definitely a good tube, and uh, that's on that side. I did check the other one, and it's also good. So um, I, just show you, I just wanted to show you it does uh, test 12AX7s and uh, 6 SN7s, you know, a fair amount of the audio tube. So in fact, there's different sockets here. Nice thing about this tester, I find, is the older, you know, the 4-pin, 5-pin, and so forth. So if you have any vintage tubes, this is a good way to go. The TV-7CU tube tester.